Welcome to Jackie's Whole Food Plant Based Journey. And I don't know how long it's been now, not yet three months, but um, almost. Anyways, over two months, that's for sure. I started, what, April, mid-April to May, June, July, April to May, May to June, June, so almost three months. Anyways, I've made a lot of progress. I was watching some of my early videos in the beginning, and I have come uh, along, not too long of a way, but, you know, a ways. Anyways, I thought I would share with you today, because I have to cook. It's Saturday, and, um, you know, I've run out of food, and I have things to make. I've got lots of ingredients like I've got mushrooms and asparagus in the refrigerator. I have lots of beans, like chickpeas and other beans, whatever. Anyways, chickpeas, I don't think are beans, are they? They're chickpeas. I don't know. I'm still learning. But I'm tired. I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing this, but I have to because I want to be healthy. And if I don't do this, I'm going to grab things that are not going to help with my health. So... I'm making, with that said, you know what I'm making? I'm making um, fudgy avocado brownies. Now I've made them before, I made them once before. I think it was a couple of weeks ago and they were really good, maybe last week, I don't know. So I'm gonna make those because I like something sweet in the house and I, you know, it's a nice little treat, guilt-free. So what do we have here? Um, so I've got all my ingredients out, right? So what I wanted to share with you is the first thing to do is you have to get a ripe avocado, which is difficult in itself for me to know what that is, but I'm learning. I guess if it's soft, I think it has to be green or whatever. And uh, peel, pit it, and mash. I did that. I should have shown you, but I need to watch a video. And I've done it before, but I forget. I need to watch a video uh, showing how to cut and peel and mash an avocado. But I did it. So you can see, not bad. I used a masher, which I never knew existed and never knew what it was called until, you know, I started learning how to cook and all that stuff. So I did this, but it kept coming through the hole. So I'm wondering if there's another way. So I'm going to YouTube it and learn how to. Uh, and then when you cut the avocado, it's like, like, I used to know how I used to do cut. I used to cut avocados. There was a time in my life, but right now it's, it's not working so well. I mean, it's working. I take out the pit, but mm, I bet there's a better way. So I will YouTube that. And I'm sure some of you watching this are, are like dying to come through the screen and say, I'll show you. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now I need uh, unsweetened almond milk. I need maple syrup, I need whole wheat flour, oh, cacao powder, I didn't bring that out, and baking soda, that's the most important part, I wouldn't be chocolate without the cacao, uh, baking soda, sea salt, and the dark, oh, well, I got the dark chocolate chips, vegan chips. All right, so I'm going to go to work on this, this is from the Plant You cookbook, and uh, I'm going to pause her recording and let's see what happens another fun day in Jackie Rose's kitchen now as I'm measuring out all of the ingredients I'm thinking this is the real entertainment here I'm talking out loud no one's here I'm saying okay a cup of wheat, whole wheat flour I'm actually talking while I I just realized that like talking to myself while I'm pouring everything I'm, I'm saying half a cup of maple syrup and so I thought um I want to share with you something interesting. Well, maybe not that interesting, but before I started cooking, before I became whole food plant-based, I had one set of measuring cups. Actually, I, I think I had two when I threw one away because I was barely using any. Well, I gave it away, donated it. So anyways, I had one set of these plastic. I like the color. That's where I got them. Teal. I like teal. So I got a whole set. And then as I started cooking, I got another set teal again nice pretty teal color and then I got another set it's like a silver stainless steel now I have three sets because I need them isn't this amazing like before I didn't even need one now I have three because in this recipe we need two half cups of something and we have to have all the ingredients ready and measured before we start that's what I'm told and so 
a half a cup of unsweetened. See, this is how I do it. So I always pause the, the, the recording for, over the best part. The best part is probably the most boring part, but half a cup of unsweetened cacao powder. So this is by my cacao powder. And then sometimes just finding, you know, sometimes it doesn't fit in the bag and I've got to figure out how to do that. But this one I'm going to scoop and I have to layer it out. Right, so that's my half cup of cacao powder. So if you can see my, and then I'll like wash my hands because I don't like to be dirty and get everything else dirty. And then what I do, I'm very neat, right? So, and then I, I'm doing this over the sink. So it doesn't, you know how like powder goes everywhere. And then I put it away. I'm always leaving you, aren't I? Let's see, put that somewhere. <laughs> Every time I do these videos, I'm always like leaving you for a moment. So I put that away. Okay. Oh, I got some on the cookbook. Woo. Now let's see if you can see my, we'll move the tissues away. So you can see I have my milk, my syrup, cacao powder, and my avocado. Oh, okay. So, whew. wait a minute. Can you see? All right. So now, what's next? I've got to measure out a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. And I'm always mixing those up. Like, I, I don't read it correctly. Like a couple times, you, if you've seen my videos, I'll do a half a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. A quarter of a cup instead of a, I don't know. Let's just read it all wrong. Maybe I need better glasses. Okay. What do I say? See, this is what I do. I go back and forth. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. I love these uh, because they're color coded. So if I could remember purple is a half a teaspoon, that would be great. Okay, sea salt. Now this is interesting because I have the sea salt that came with that spice rack. I did a video of it recently when I bought a spice rack and I didn't realize it came with 16 actual spices. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And one of them was sea salt. But sea salt is um, very chunky. Like, I don't know if that's, a, if, if that's the type of sea salt I'm supposed to have. Is all sea salt like that? Big chunks, like hail, like hail, when it rains hail, that's what it reminds me of. But, or is there sea salt that's refined? Let's see, I can show you. But I'm gonna use it. So what do we have? Actually, I put too much in the other day and it was very salty. I made something, I think it was the triple, triple brittle and I put too much sea salt, but actually it didn't taste bad. It was actually, right, this isn't even coming out. So I had to do this like over the sink. I'm doing this over the sink. So you should see this, let's see. You see it? And it goes, I'm, I'm losing a lot of it. See, I'm losing a lot of it. I guess I could open this and just scoop it out, which is probably what I should do. All right, so we have a half a teaspoon of salt. Put that somewhere. Half a cup of vegan dark chocolate chips. So I have another half a cup somewhere. The third a cup. See, this is what happens when the, when the video isn't going. I have to go find a half a cup. All right, here are my uh, stainless steel ones. I mean, I don't think they're real stainless steel. They're pretty cheap, but they're... Maybe they are, I don't know. Okay, half a, half a cup of what? Chocolate chips. Vegan chocolate chip, non-dairy, no oil, no eggs. I don't think there's eggs and chocolate chips anyways. Okay. Now what? Any more teaspoon? Oh, one teaspoon of baking soda. So you probably heard me say that before, but this is what I do. I have to re, re do this all the time. Um, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. Usually with the, with the things with the teaspoons, I'll already put it in the bowl. I usually won't just rest it, but I haven't read ahead yet. So I'm just resting it. All right, preheat oven. Oh, I do that. First, I better wait till I get the pan out. 
Combine the mashed avocado, almond milk, and maple syrup in a large bowl. Well, I should have mashed this in a larger bowl. This is too small to add all that stuff, I would think, right? So I'm going to get a bigger bowl. I'll transfer that. I'll add those, and then I'll resume. So I'm going to pause the recording for now. Okay, so I got my pan and my parchment paper ready for the pan. I got... um. Uh, I, I, I preheated the oven. So now, so I put the um, that, let me see one of my new bowls. Okay, so combine the mashed avocado, almond milk, and maple syrup. See that there have been times, if you saw some of my videos, I put some ingredients in before I'm supposed to. So that's why I like to keep reading and making sure I'm doing the right thing. Avocado, almond milk, unsweetened, uh, maple syrup in a large bowl. Okay, so combine, combine, all right? So what does it say? Combine, doesn't say mix it, whisk it, mix it, stir it, doesn't say, it just says combine. People, you've got to write these recipes for people like me that don't know anything. But common sense says, let's stir it up a little bit. This part's really boring. This is a really boring part because I'm just, I'm not even talking barely. I'm just mixing, watching. You don't want to see what this looks like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of disgusting. Okay, but it's good once it's done. I don't remember this part. Okay, so now I'll show you. Kind of looks gross. But kind of looks like pea soup. All right, so now what do we do? In a separate bowl, combine the flour, pop, okay, so all the, all the dry stuff. I need another bowl. Okay. So here's another bowl. And we are combining whole wheat flour, cacao powder, baking soda, and sea salt. Oh, it does make life easier when it's already ooh, measured out. I almost spilled the baking soda and sea salt. And everything's been put away. Baking soda put away, flour, all that stuff. Okay, so now combine. Again, do I stir it up? Probably should, huh? I'm going to have to Google what combine means. What does combine mean in? Hey, Alexa, what does combine mean in baking? From SarahPeopleHotel.com. Combine. Oh. Alexa just taught me how to cook. She says combine, I don't know if you heard that. She said combine means mixing ingredients thoroughly. Okay. We were worried before technology. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we had our mothers and our grandmothers. Okay. So I combined, which meant mix thoroughly. Ooh, I learned something new. All right, now what? Mix the flour mixture into the avocado mixture until a smooth batter is formed and then fold in the chocolate chips. Okay, we're moving right along now. That's easy enough to do. Bought my new bowls from Pamper Chef. Those of you who don't know, I did a Pamper Chef online party. I was sucked into doing that, but it really, I really benefited because I ended up buying a lot of stuff because I've never had any of, I, you know, when you don't cook, you don't need cookware. Is that the right terminology? You don't need stuff. So I just got so much stuff. And I'm using it all, like like frying pans, bowls, tools. Okay, now you should see this. This is really looking like a real brownie brownie batter. Look at that! Look at that! Can you see okay with the lighting and all? Uh, you know, scoop it out. Oh my gosh! Just like a real. This really does look like those real. You know, when you buy a 
brownie mix already. All you do is add egg and water or oil or milk. So this really looks like that. And these brownies, I've tasted them before and they do taste like real brownies in my opinion. So I'm gonna fold in, fold in the chips. Best part of the whole thing, right? Mix of, oh, okay. I see I have to make sure. Fold in the chocolate chips, pour the batter evenly into the prepared pan. I'm gonna put that in, so fold. What does that mean? Just mix them in, right? It's not gently probably. Hey Alexa, what does fold in mean for baking? I don't know if you heard that, but she says bold is like a balance between test and taste and technique. I guess I I might Google that to see. I mean, but of course, common sense, just, just the way you kind of gently. But again, this is not professional chef Jackie. This is Jackie Rose's journey on how to learn how to cook whole food plant-based. Okay, so I don't think you need me to see me pour it into the pan. I mean, well, that kind of is, well, why not? Listen, if you wanna keep watching, keep watching. So I am going to pour this in. I have a, uh, a, paper, a parchment paper sheet, a parchment sheet, parchment paper sheet on this pan. Never even knew about parchment paper, didn't know what it was. You'll see in one of my beginning videos, I practically burned down the house thinking wax paper was parchment paper. I'm learning so much. And I have to tell you, once I, you know, I told you that I was really tired, I didn't really feel like, or lazy, I didn't feel like cooking today, but I knew I had to, because it's nice to have, when once the food's in the house, it's wonderful. So, um, but every time that I force myself, kind of force myself to just start with something, then I'm more motiva motivated to keep going and I get the energy. So I wanted to start with these because this is what was going to get me going today. Fudge brownies, right? Of course. I said, okay, I'll start with fudge brownies because then I got to start. I want to cook, you know, like some... I told you asparagus and mushrooms and I want to make a chickpea salad, use up those beans I bought 10 million months ago. Okay. Maybe three months ago and um, canned beans. And I want to make, you know, food, tofu, and I want to do it all today. So I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week or for a few days. So I will have, um, you know what's happening as I'm doing this? You're probably watching, like this paper slides all around. I bought the sheets. Oh, and it just keeps sliding. So I'm trying to, as I spread this out, I, and I see chunks of avocado. It'll hopefully it'll just melt, right? I see chunks of avocado. I have to uh, Google to see how to mash that better. Maybe I should have done it in the food processor or something. I'll Google it. Thank you, God, for Google, for computers. Boy, oh boy. Anyways, um, I'm still spreading this out. <sighs> I'm just taking a breath, not from cooking, but from talking. So um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, I wanna make, um, oh, I wanna make uh, food to have in the house. So I will have my meals already for the week, or at least for several days. And I have to remember, you know, you can free, freeze things. I keep forgetting about freezing things. I never knew you could freeze things. I thought everything went bad. Yeah, that's how pathetic I am. All right, let's see. <laughs> see, I want you to see this is what I do. See, a lot of times I pause the recording, you don't get to see how, um, you know, amateurish I am when I do these things. And I've come a long way in a few months. You know what? I, to, I keep telling. I keep seeing these avocados. I um. I don't know how I mashed them last time. Maybe the same way. I don't remember. But there's little pieces, chunks of avocados that are popping up. But I keep spreading it out because I want to get as much as I can. I'd rather have them thin than 
thick. You know, I'd just rather have more than well, less, I guess. I guess you can always cut them in quarters and halves. All right, good enough? Nice. Let's see if I can hold. See, it slides, the um, parchment paper slides. Okay, so I have to cook that now for 40 minutes. Remove them, I've let the brownie sit for 15. Okay. I'm going to lick this in a moment. Save that. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to, um, I think it's going to end the recording. Well, no, I'll pause it so you can see what the uh, brownies are like later. Well, let's see, what should I do? You know, I think I'm going to end it because the brownies are like 40 minutes and I don't want this just to keep going. And I'll just create maybe um, a short video showing you what the brownies look like later. All right. See you later.